Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Welcome po sa Pinoy Engineering How to Videos. Ito po si Engineer Lodi. And then welcome din po sa Quantity Fake Off Series. Okay, so three items po yung i-discuss natin which is excavation, hauling and disposal, and of course backfill and compaction. Okay. Ito po actually is para sa mga aspiring quantity surveyors, estimators, contractors, technical students, lot owners, and sa mga gustong matuto ng estimate. Okay. At tara, umpisahan na po natin. Yan. So, uh, bago po tayo mag-calculate, okay, kailangan malaman po natin yung three terms po dyan sa earthworks na yan. So, number one is in place yards. Ito po yung original na volume ng natural na lupa bago po natin siya hukayin. Okay? Number, th number two is loose yards. Ito naman po yung magiging volume ng lupa after po nating hukayin. Okay? Number three is compacted yards which is ito naman po yung decrease in volume ng lupa pagkatapos po natin uh, backfillan and i-compact. Okay? So, ang sample, ang sample uh, project po natin is actually is excavation ng uh, swimming pool. Suppose, ang project natin is swimming pool. Okay? Ang length niya, ang hukayin po natin, ang length is 7 meters width is 5 meters, and then ang height is 1.5 meters. So, item number 1, excavation or in place or bank yard. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin is volume formula, which is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So, uh, direct calculations lang to. So, input lang po natin dito. Ang length niya is 7 meters. Okay. And ang width niya, is 5 meters and then ang height is 1.5 meters. So, ang magiging in place yard volume mo ngayon, okay, which is yung excavate mo is 52.5. Minultiply ko lang po yung tatlo na yan. So, 52.5 cubic meter. Now, uh, regarding contingency, okay, normally between 3 to 5% okay na yun. Pero magdidepende pa rin po sa inyo sa judgment nyo po doon sa site. Okay? And, uh, another thing, kapag uh, pinalakihan po kasi natin yung contingency, we will end up of uh, malaki yung value and then, imumultiply mo yan sa cost mo. So, lalaki yung cost mo. Most likely, baka hindi mo makuha. So, kayo na pong bahala doon sa paglalagay nyo po ng contingency. The more na maliit yung value na gagamitin yung contingency, uh, most likely, mas maganda yung magiging presyo. Okay? So, item number 2 natin, which is hauling and disposal, ito na po yung sa loose yard. Okay? Yung loose yard natin, okay, ang formula po na gagamitin natin is loose yard is equals to in place yard multiply by 1 plus 12, okay, percent, plus 12 percentage, which is expressed in decimal na po. Okay? Saan po natin kukunin yan? So, in sinulat ko na rin po rito yung swell percentage, type of soil, shrinkage percentage. So, let's say, clay po ang hinuhukay natin. Clay, yung type ng soil. So, ang swell percentage po niyan is between 30 to 50 percent. Okay? So, ang gagamitin nyo po dyan, let's say, doing the formula, is 1 plus 50 percent or, or 1, let's say, ang ginamit nyo po is point which is 30%. So, 1 plus 0.3. So, ilalagay nyo lang po rito 1.3. Okay. And then, yung in-place volume po natin, which is this one, 52, okay, 0.5. Okay. So, you will have, pag minultiply po natin yan, you will have loose yard volume na 68.25. Kumbaga, parang umalsa na yung lupa. ba? So, ngayon, Ang, siyempre, swimming pool yan, wala kang mapagtatambakan. So, most probably, magre-rent ka ng dump truck, okay, para uh, mahakot yan. So, kapag ginamit mo yung in-place volume mo lang, okay, 
kakapusin ka, kukulangin yung marirent mo na dump truck, kukulangin yung trips mo. So, you will end up na lugi ka. Kasi may cost din yung pag nag ka, may cost yan. Every, every trips mo may cost yan. So, kulang yung estimate mo. So, ang gagawin mo, i-check mo yung capacity ng dump truck na i-rent mo. Let's say, meron siyang 10. 10 uh, cubic meter yung dump truck niya. 10 cubic meters. So, ang gawin mo, i-divide mo yung loose yard volume divided by capacity ng dump truck. Let's gawin po natin. So, let's say 10 cubic meter yung dump truck. So, meron kang trucks required na 6.83. Okay, kaya lang, hindi man man pwedeng rentahan yung kalahati ng truck. So, buo yan. So, let's say 7 yung trips or 7 trucks na yung rentahan mo. Okay, para hindi ka... Uh, Malugi. Again, kapag ka maglalagay ka ng contingency, medyo liit-liitan mo lang or else, lulobo yung value. Okay, ang item number 3 po natin is actually backfill and compaction. Okay, ang formula po na gagamitin natin is this one. Backfill is equals to compaction yard divided by 1 minus shrinkage multiplied by 1 plus well. Okay, so saan po natin kukunin yung shrinkage? Sinulat ko na rin po rito kung clay po yung gagamitin natin pantambak it's between 10% to 18%. So, going back, okay, ang magiging compacted yard natin is ito rin po. So, 7, yung volume po nito, 7 meters multiplied by 5 meters multiplied by 1.5. So, it will become 52.5. Okay. So, yung soil shrinkage natin in terms po, in decimal na po, is 1 minus 0.15 which is 15% po yun, so 85.85, okay? So, ang soil swell naman po natin is actually 1 plus, kung clay po yan, uh, gamitin po natin is 0 0.03 or 30%, so 1.3. So, ang formula po natin, compaction yard, eto, divided by 0.85, and then, yung sagot niyan, i-multiply nyo po sa uh, 1.3, and uh, it will give you 80.29 cubic meter. Let's say, 81 cubic meter po. So, ngayon, kung kukunin nyo po yung dami ng truck, okay, magdidepende po yan sa capacity. So, ang gagawin nyo po, eto, yung volume ng iba backfill nyo po, is i-divide nyo sa capacity ng truck. Let's say, yung kaninang ginamit natin, 10 cubic meter lang po per truck. So, meaning, kailangan nyo po ng 8.1 na truck na maghahakot papunta po sa iba backfill ninyo. So, wala namang 0.1. So, most probably, 9 na po yung gagamitin nyo, 9 na trucks. Okay? So, yan po yung tatlong items po natin, excavation, hauling and disposal, backfill and compaction. So, kung meron po kayong mga katanungan at mga komento, Yan, i-type nyo lang po sa baba and then sasagutin ko po yan. So, ito po ulit si Engineer Lodi. Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Cheers!